Welcome back. Receiving dialysis treatments is not always easy. Dr. Wong explains more about how Spectrum Health Medical Group is making this treatment less complicated for its patients. Arterial venous fistula, what we call AV fistula, mm -hmm. is actually a surgical procedure created by us. Um, you know, uh, the surgeon actually dissect a um, nice size vein out uh, and actually suture it into a nice size artery, mm -hmm. essentially creating um, a conduit. And when this uh, AV fistula matures, um, the vein will uh, increase in size and also thicken in, in the wall so that uh, when patients go for dialysis, the, this vein could be repeatedly being cannulated uh, or, or stick uh, to, to draw blood out for dialysis. There are a uh, patient who has end-stage renal disease, which we call uh, renal failure, is basically caused uh, by sometimes diabetes, high blood pressure, polycystic kidney disease, or kidney inflammation, or the artery inside the kidneys are inflamed. So once you know the kidney is not performing its function, mm -hmm. uh, the patient cannot get rid of any of the fluids, essentially they're drowning inside, mm -hmm. um, or uh, it will accumulate a lot of other ions like potassium that could actually stop the heart. Mm -hmm. And all the toxins build up and, you know, could cause, um, you know, um, a patient uh, go into a coma. Uh, so uh, when these patients are, you know, in that end stage renal disease range, uh, then they need to have dialysis. Mm -hmm. uh, when we created um, the AV access, uh, arterial venous access, a patient go for dialysis, um, they will insert needles into this AV access, draw blood in to the dialysis machine, and this machine actually acts as a filter. It will filter out uh, the, um, too much of the, some of the free water, um, the toxins, the waste, and the ions and the salt, uh, and then it will return the clean blood back to the body. Most pa patients being dialyzed are th uh, through hemodialysis, um, and uh, uh, AV fistula, arterial venous fistula, is the preferred method of getting access for a patient on dialysis. Mm -hmm. In 1997, uh, National Kidney Foundation actually set out guidelines. It's called Fistula First. This is the high-level, level one evidence-based medicine that has proven that AV fistula has much better uh, patency uh, than any other uh, uh, ways to dialyze patient. Mm -hmm. uh, because actually the surgeon is actually taking your own live biological tissue um, and then just hook up to your artery. So your own biological vein tissue still um, will produce chemicals and hormones that will prevent clotting of your vein. Mm -hmm. So it's a, have a less tendency to clot off is your own tissue, it's not plastic, so have a la very low risk of infection. Uh, it provides you know, a lot of blood flow so that this vein could be repeatedly being stick uh, for um, dialysis. Uh, and also, uh, it's just less expensive to maintain. And actually, it's a very long process. You know, uh, every time patients go for hemodialysis, they have to sit in the chair for three to four hours, mm -hmm. and they have to go three times a week. Time is the essence, uh, so every time we get a phone call from the kidney doctor that a patient need uh, uh, arterial venous access, uh, within a week or two, the patient will come to our office. Mm -hmm. uh, then once the patient in the office, our certified vascular lab technician will start scanning uh, the patient's arm uh, for uh, appropriate size of veins and artery. Mm -hmm. And the doctors also have opportunity to look at you know, the ultrasound or actually scanning the patient to form a mental picture of what arteries and veins are actually the best suited for this patient. And once the patient walk out, uh, within a week or two, uh, the patient will have surgery to have this uh, AV fistula created. And as I mentioned, uh, we strive to have an AV fistula creation. The National Kidney Foundation recommend at least 65% of patients having AV fistula. We are actually above 90%. Uh, so once uh, they have their fistula placed, they'll come back to our office and, uh, in about a month, which is four weeks, and then we usually 
allow them to have them, you know, use the AV fistula, uh, which again, 90% of our patients will have a mature AV fistula within four to six weeks, which is a very high successful rate. And once you have a fistula, we do maintain them. Uh, we have uh, in place protocol and algorithms. Uh, once we get a phone call, it depends on what the problem is. The patient will either come back to office for an ultrasound to confirm the problem, or if you know there's a uh, bigger problem, then we'll just end up uh, in the hospital uh, immediately. Uh, we will basically schedule either in a, in a couple of days uh, to uh, uh, maintain or intervene with this uh, pr uh, problematic fistula. And it's not surgery. It's not uh, most of the time. It's just an, uh, starting an IV and then putting a balloon in and stretching out the scars, and the patient goes home. Mm -hmm. So it's a very you know easy outpatient in and out procedure. Uh, and uh, the Spectrum Health have a very good program to create and maintain uh, all this functional AV fistula uh, that will last for a very long time. Earth. For more information or to get in touch with Dr. Wong, you can call 616-267-8700. That's 616-267-8700 or visit Spectrum Health Medical Group online at shmg.org.